Good evening and welcome to Holligan Place Torchlight 2 with some modifications. This will probably just be a one off. I don't know how many parts this video will be, but I will not make a full playthrough of it. I'm simply playing this because I feel like it at the time and I need to well take it easy after a long week of work. I thought I might as well share this with you guys. So I will make a new game. I will be checking different what kind of different classes there is because I'm well I think I'm I guess I'm running the synergies mod and some others which I don't remember at the moment. I do not really know what I want to play. So let's Chrono Shifter. Uh, it's capable of bounding across the battlefield and controlling the flow. Oh. Dark Light Alpha. I don't know what he does. Dragonborn. Nude guy. Um. Yeah. Um. Let, let's not. Dragonus line, it just lost long ago, yada yada yada. Dread Pirates. I actually got another character that, that is Dread Pirates, I would not be playing that. I do not want it to be an elemental, I do not want it to be an engineer. Otako Fighter. Fighters ah. fight the fight. Right, sounds good. Flammer. Hard hitting fire based class capable of using the cannon and the sword and shield to deal tremendous damage. Does look like a badass, doesn't he? The Grand Master. No. Isis. Defensive class. No. Cancel. No. Warrior Monk. No. Nether Master. Many attempt to control the nether powers, but precious few manage to retain their sanity, and even fewer are friendly. Noxma. Screwed attacks and overwhelming force to destroy both the souls and bodies of the foes. No. Shade. Master of Poison. Shinobi. Quick over melee teleportation range. Tech Mage. Tech Mage! Woo! Right. One nature's no trailer. Umbra. Here we go. The Umbra is master raising an army, whether summoned or engineer. Umbra looks like something we can do. Outland and a war chief. Maybe. Tenebris. A neighboring. I slayer to those. No. Dragon princess. Fuck no. Here. Oh. Um. You know what? We will go with the uh, Umbra. This guy. And I can't see how it looks underneath all that stuff, so let's go for randomizer. Let's go with female Umbra. No. Um. Let's go with male Umbra because I wanted to call him Harlequin, of course. What will... Nani, no? An Ember Mage? That would be interesting. Yeah, um, I do not remember the name of this mod, but it's like more companions or something. A whole lot of uh, human companions, but I wanted something big as... Monster. Basilisk? That's no. Blight Slug. Panther, Bulldog, Burrower, Cat, Shakabari, yeah. 
companion cube, claptrap. Crab, really? No, answer. I could actually. Well, this looks like it's such a winning combination, doesn't it? Um, oh, hello. Oh, stag. Does it fly out? Jim. Boom. No, no. Yes, we will go for this. And we will call him... Hastur. King in yellow. Yes. And we will go for veteran. Single player. And I go... I you would usually go for normal, but I will go with veteran simply because... I guess I would be kind of overpowered with these two guys. Deep beneath Torchlight, a darkness gathered. Three heroes confronted the beast called Ordrak. Yet even in death, Ordrak's corrupted heart endured and called out. Oh no! Hundred protection. You know it to be true. Oh, and here comes this guy. Quarterback. We can't hear you, man. Can't hear you. Is this like what happened in Torchlight 1? I have never finished that game actually. Yeah, this is what happened in Torch Black 1. Because... Oh, yada yada yada. Just a flesh wound. Yeah, you're heroes better may fall. Hope may fade, but new heroes will rise. But they may fall. Fuck. So, for some reason, I think this is as far as I can go. Yes, you should carry on to the Asterian Enclave, but you're on your own. Warn them that the alchemist destroyed Torchlight and is headed their way. He may be there already. If he is there you already, do I really need to warn them? Um, yeah, so uh, the game just crashed on me. Froze the crash, which means I have to replay the beginning of no. Not a big deal as such, since I like, just reached level 2 when that happened. And it didn't really miss anything important or funny anyway. And it was annoying. And I really hope it won't happen again. And I do not really know all my abilities. And I think that I do know some 
for death. The whatever class I play has got a not ugly face. No, well, not that. That's not part of the class. It's part of the of the character. Simply, yes. Look at. I mean, look at. Look at him. Ah. Oh. Ugh, ugh, you will have to have a helmet on all the time, or I won't be playing with you. Ugly people should not be allowed in games. They will actually think it's okay to look that way. A trap! Oh, you shouldn't be following me around. Oh, level up, yay! Let's see if this will crash my game yet again. Um. Yeah, that's great. And we will be adding a healing bot. There we go. Much better than last time. Oh right, I totally forgot that I'm playing on veteran. I don't really think that matters as such. But we will see. So yes, uh, one of the mods I can install actually adds more enemies and more stuff to the game. Which I think is good. And a little bit more of a challenge in the still game field. Uh, yeah, why did I do that? makes the game feel a little bit more alive. I say, and then there's no enemies at all. Let's go. Come on, Astor. You don't need to be there when the thing goes. Broken planks. Thanks. Yes, yes, I know. I wonder what that spirit thing does. Rattlings. So I would love to play more RPGs actually. You summon a wolf shade, I like to sink its icy fangs into your enemies and leave it with their life force. The shake you sound once every minute. Oh yes. You must think I am crazy and probably I am. Well, you know I'm crazy, right? Who cares? Hi, ugly sons of bitches. There we go. Here we go. Barrel of gold. Simple crossbow, simple crossbow. Death flinger. He didn't fling that, that much death at me, I think. So, the character isn't actually as uh, overpowered as I was afraid it would be. Maybe that's because I'm playing a veteran or whatever. My um, Red Pirate character is, was really overpowered. Especially since you get like, the ability to summon yeah, like 7 allies. Can you summon some allies and then they will do all the work for you. I do not know what is happening here because, well, Torchlight is a game where you don't really see much. You have to just kind of feel your way through it. But it is. Oh, right. Because this guy is usually like surrounded by one or two of these things. Correctly. This feels a little bit better now. Having one guy be like, oh no, I'm a warrior and there are two little rattlings, I can't defend myself. Does it feel that much um, realistic, does it? And realism is. You just get here? Oh, yes, let's get that. Uh, realism in a game like this is really, really important, isn't it? Thank you. 
and I am, of course, being sarcastic. And let's do the ice damage. Oh, right, I leveled up. Let's just see. Always put points in vitality or you will die really badly later on. Uh, healing pulse every 11.5 seconds. I used my last identify scroll. I thank you for your warning, but it has arrived too late. This alchemist has already come and gone, and it was all I could do to prevent him from entering the Enclave. As it was, many Asthalians were injured, and since the confrontation, several more have become ill. We are not sure what is causing it. After his assault failed here, the alchemist carried on southward toward the temple steps. Commander Vale and her vanquishers arrived a short while later and pursued him, hoping to prevent further damage. Okay. Commander Vale believes that the alchemist might attack the Wellspring Temple in an attempt to reach the Guardian of Water. For the nefarious purpose, I am afraid to speculate. There has been no word from either Vale or the Guardian. Scout the Wellspring Temple and determine if the Guardian of Water is in any danger. <laughs> You have Why don't quest. you scout? Do you need something? A uh, cleaver, unique axe. Oh, I'd like to summon this power spike. Right, I have to do this and get rid of all the shit in my inventory. Without even looking at it. No, you're right. I do not look at it. I do I want an identify scroll. Four of them. Dynamite. No. Um no no no. Flame bound, unique collar. That is good. There. Hustler gets an uh, gets a unique color. Nothing in the shared stash. That's too bad. How may I help you? How may I help you? Oh, well, you actually not. No, no, no. Uh, let's go fishing. So that we can transform Hustler into some creepy black. Called light fin. Let's get three little fishes. Go 
got a gargoyle fish. Light slug and forest gargoyle. We can turn them into. That's nice to know. What's your business here? If you want your temple steps, I can use your help. You don't put up the Yes, okay. I should find armor schematics. I you have to go quest. to the eternal realm and see what that is all about. What it's all about. All about, about, about. This is really no boss forward. It's like I don't even have the time to blink before it's loaded. Uh oh. Hello. Down and far eastern boots. At least not the standard kind. Um. Oh, right, I have auto quit. <laughs> My stuff is two handed, so I can't really do much with it. Um, I can't do much. I can't use shields with it. Or other weapons with it. Unidentified cannon, that's great. Sundering Lumber Axe. Ooh, that does a lot more damage than... That does 59, it does like... 12 more damage than what I've got. It does not call for the, si the um, skull, however. Um, but... Well, never mind, never mind. Um, Here we go, I got this big ass lumber axe. 
nice, nice. Very nice, yes. Force black man. supposed to be doing down here? Well, well okay. the whole game is about just killing things, isn't it? It's a dungeon bash. Whoa! Oh, oh! Oh, good! Oh, good! Swamp! Troglodyte drops! that instead. It's not quite as good as the end. Uh, I will try this combination. Oh, I got fast. This over here explodes on them. Good to know. What the hell is a spontoon? Um, and where did the spontoon go? Ah, never mind. Never mind. We... Well, last thing. So, Warmaker is making progress. Yes. Wow, Goblin Spellbinder. He looked almost human, didn't he? He did look almost human. Yes. Oh, Melvin Swarmer. Hello, beasties. If you do not really believe you can defeat the Harlequin Warmaker. I am the Warmaker. Wow, one skeleton. Let's go down here and we shall level up yet again. Oh, okay, I can't level that up. Let's level this up. Death Ritual. Chronos Shifter Chest. Uh, one person. No, I like this one better. Actually, Let's see, 
over 10 seconds, mana recovery over 10 seconds, yes. Guys, stumble. Oh. She, no, no, no. Um. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, what is this? Dungeon properties. I don't know, know what that does. So let's leave that alone. Let's just leave that alone. Perler. Oh, little fatty. Come here, little fatty. Another shape. Seems uh, there isn't much left to be done here, does it? Already level five. That is fantastic. Now here we go. Oh look! I'm dead. Oh, I tried to use my little. You know, let's go to town and let's go out in the desert. What's your business here? Out in the temple steps. That's actually not the desert. I will find a desert later. I think. Well, come on, Hastur, and the little. Let's call the little one Paul, shall we? Hastur and. Or Harry. Hastur, Paul, and Harry.
There we go. There we go. Oh wait, I do not want to get rid of my uh, lumber axe. And there was filling axe, filling axe. I want the lumber axe. Well, I'm using it. No. no. If you are somehow unfamiliar with the Torchlight 2. When it says shattered, it is the enemy's shields that are shattered. That and their hopes that they're getting out of this fire. But if they're undead, they have not much life to be hoping about to begin with. Today. And now I see this. Well, now I notice that I am playing a veteran because I lose health a lot faster than I usually do at this point in the game, it's early on. Ooh, that is, that is, these guys really like to punch. Um, what is the skull shooting at? Goblin the Cauldron of Rot. Yes, um, let's continue a little bit onwards, onwards, onwards. Hello, Skeleton Shambler. You know, playing RPGs makes me really kind of ache for sitting down and continue developing my own game. It's not a computer game, but a board game. Dungeon Crawler. Modern horror. I need your help. Um, to do send fun quest a grand region to corrupted crypt. Yada yada. We don't you need have to know your quest. life story to do this quest. It is quite enough that you 